hey my people i have so much to update you on since the last time i did an update so much has changed so let's start with going shopping for moles so i went to this place called freeform and they sell moldings i really wanted to add some moldings to the house the doorway the windows etc so while i was there i discovered they actually make houses out of foam and concrete so this house you're looking at is actually made out of foam and concrete so i wanted to share that with you guys to just give you a little walk through even this part of their building is also made out of foam and concrete so let me just jump in and show you exactly what the interior looks like so this gentleman was nice enough to walk me through he was showing me that this is the typical space that you would get and um here they have a little area there that could be used for a small living room space it also came with a bathroom area so this was a typical like one bedroom um setup that they did i asked them the price for doing something like this they said it was about ten thousand jamaican dollars per square feet even this room here they were showing me it could be an actual bedroom that was also made out of the foam and concrete so i found that very interesting and i wanted to just share that with you guys so as i said before if you are looking for option i guess that is pretty easy to spin up and you don't want to go through the block and concrete um, phase this could be an alternative so now let's look at the actual molds these are the different styles of molds that they had and the prices are per feet um so looking at them like this they probably don't look wow but you know when you put them on the house and you paint them up that's when they start looking nice i didn't want anything that was too over the top um i wanted something simple that would basically you know complement the design of the house and so um i went through and selected the one that i thought would be most appropriate and i'll share what that looks like with you guys so just showing some other highlights um they have different forms of molds more sophisticated looking i think these are more on the expensive side so they're like eight thousand dollars or one and they have molds that even look like rocks so those are molds those are actually foam on the inside all of those things that are looking very sophisticated they're foam on the inside even that that looks like board so i mean if you are interested and looking for things to kind of accentuate what you're doing you can always visit this place so enough of free form this is what i actually bought this is a decorative piece that goes in the center of the mold i really don't remember the name of it um i ended up getting about 17 of these and then i also bought the length of the ones that should go around the window um i end up i ended up i believe buying about 36 of those pieces so now let's go paint shopping these are the colors that the community has approved there is this one harvester which kind of look like the original color that was on the main house and then they also have alchemy um it is a greenish color when you see it in person um it looks all right a neighbor has it and it looks pretty good on their house and then we have marigold um i kind of didn't like this one my husband say it looks bold and nice so i thought this would have been a option possibly um also like the sachet sand i don't see anybody in the community with this as yet and also like this hot cocoa color so all of them pretty much all right we kind of voted on what we wanted so now i headed to the paint shop 
um, just showing you guys you know the price I paint no of course it depends on what type of paint you're looking for whether this is paint that is used internally and it's flat or it's paint that have you know low sheen you know low sheen more expensive certain colors more expensive so I was just going through here and showing you guys you know some of the options that are there but because my community have some predetermined colors I actually had to get mixed paint so went to the paint bar which kind of set up like a nice little bar environment where you know you have all the options listed there that you can go through and then you get a nice little stool to sit on like you're actually in a bar so i went around kind of browsed the options on the shelf a bit really was looking for the cards for the approved colors from the community so was just checking that to ensure I could match it back properly and of course I actually found what I was looking for and then I headed over now to the paint bar to just hand the card to the actual rep and um, have her mix it so you know they did the magic we bring it up on the computer and mix what needed to be mixed um for me the weight was a good i would say 20 minutes 20 to 30 minutes because i was mixing quite a bit of paint about 15 gallons so we just had to sit there and wait so remember this the last update i gave you guys this is where i was so now abracadabra where am i now let's see all right so i chose the marigold i thought it would really give a pop look at it it bright like morning star it's so bright i actually thought it would be a little bit calmer based on the color card that we were given but it is definitely growing on me i think it looks very lively i think it's it's difficult to look at this color and be in a bad mood so it's it's bold that's what it says to me so we start getting our painting on you remember the logo i have been painting that myself so see me there me and neat and fine and i take my time and you know going through i really wanted to do this because you know there's just so much detail that go with it that you know but kind of did want to make sure say everything that i was looking for in terms of the details came out on the logo um so here i'm not completely done but i am definitely satisfied with the progress that has been made um with me painting the logo all right so the logo outside let's go walk through look at the front there look at the white against the mary gold it just a pop don't it look at all the moldings that are already up molding around the doorway molding around the windows it just it giving life that's why i'm gonna say you can look at this color and be in a bad mood you know kind of jerk you back to life you know kind of pep you up and that's what i was going for so let's go inside bedroom one this is basically the master i love color blocking i use white and that color other color on the wall is called honey blonde now you see where you see the paint leave out i'm going to be tiling there that's right where the bed is going to be and you know my kind of do a little contrast with the white so this is the view of course from the room to outside now let's head down the hallway so i painted honey blonde the straight of the hallway particularly because you know people may be touching the walls and make it dirty easier um, i thought the book honey blonde would hide it more so that's our first bathroom there it's standing shower there in the corner um this is where the face basin is going to be because i'm making it out of concrete i had to buy the face basin so they could measure up and cast the area as well so let's head down the hallway with me 
look to your left that's the living room you know that is a step up we we'll soon show you that but let's look at the hallway from the opposite end this is bedroom number two this is the middle bedroom and this bedroom actually has an ensuite bathroom so again i'm using color blocking in this room i'm making the face basic ear to concrete so i had to buy it this is a much smaller bathroom so it's a small little face base and top all of that will be tiled that's where the toilet is going to be and of course there is a standing shower um so it's it's pretty cozy and when the tile go in i'm sure you know it's gonna come alive even more so heading to bedroom number three now that's at the very back again we're using color blocking i just love color blocking i think it just makes the building the architecture just pop so we're doing the back walls in honey blonde and everything else in white all right we're gonna look on the rest of the house kitchen i'm doing a all white kitchen mostly i'll show you guys the inspiration for that um, but as I mentioned before doing open shelves anything that is in a painted is where I'm going to be doing tiling work Okay, so that's my countertop So that's the little island that I've built to be tiled as well Now let's step up into our living room area and as we enter that space again color blocking for days um i love to use tiles as backsplash or as a focal point for a room i do that in my own personal space so where you have that space on the wall i have some interesting tiles to go there that's not too much and that's why i tend to use more calmer colors indoors because i want to play around with what it is that i have without it becoming overwhelming all right going back outside catch the view from here you can get a little 90 degree 180 type ish view so i love this view you can see a good picture of what the upstairs look like from this side and of course we have the gazebo the entertainment area right over there to the left so the last time it wasn't finished so now we have fully dressed it um the electricity is in um and so it's just the painting that needs to be done under that area so let me show you how to put on the mold. So first, one of the things you have to do is to center the middle piece, the decorative piece there, and then they tend to go through and measure up the molding and cut it at a particular angle. And then to attach the molding to the hose, they're using tin set. You know, tin set is what they used to put on tiles. They also used to put on moldings. You can also use glue apparently to attach the moldings um, as well. But the workmen here were attaching it using um, the tin set. So you can just watch them go through the process so you know exactly what to expect if you are doing the same thing. So while they were attaching them, of course, in some cases, they started to slide. So you see him there, he's lining up a nail to kind of use that as support to stop it from um, sliding down. So that has to be done on some parts of it to keep it in place to ensure that, you know, it dries well and stays in place. Of course, by the time it dries, they take it out and any gaps that are left within the mold they go through and um, just fill, fill up the gaps themselves so in some cases too they're using board to support it to stop it from sliding down so where the nail is not sufficient they're nailing up with board as well so 
don't worry about it by the time i take that out they patch it up and it's all good and again the molding have to be patched as well with the tin set to give it a smooth finished look so our next major thing i did look at it look in front of the yard when it's a rubbish when it's a debris that was created from the construction process there is a whole lot of it from cement bags to bricks to broken blocks you know to concrete we get dig up all of those things you know so of course me i paint now so a time feed leave somebody i forget a truck um to get everything moved up so i did a video once when i spoke about the hidden costs of construction this is something that a lot of people do not expect you do not expect unless you have gone through this process to be getting rid of so much garbage that's one of the first thing that hit me the very first time i did construction and i saw how much garbage i had to get rid of and sometimes even after you've gotten rid of garbage you think feel like yeah man you're done mm -mm, you're not done yet you just a come it just a get ready sometime all three four time you have to go especially when you're digging foundation you have to go over and over again to get rid of the debris so i'm not gonna let the tractor move very fast um i move garbage already using men that come and shovel it up and it's definitely more cheaper if you can get a tractor to move it, it i think honestly in less than 20 minutes all of this debris was done let me go now a view from upstairs make you see because me kind of fascinated with this man like because me never really see a tractor in action like that like me not even did realize said the driver could have just spin around in seat and drive the back part of of the the tractor and that thing to the back you know it just moved differently so did the daddy take it in still and i ensure that the place get clear up another thing that was important to me um i'm changing the garden at the front so but he kind of ask him for ensure that see yeah, i have some some small um shrubs some plants there yellow and green i don't remember the name right now but when i say those plants attract a lot of white flies no matter how i treat it they come back so i definitely wanted to get rid of that so i kind of kill two birds with one stone and just get rid of those plants so that will be another video when i go through and show you guys how i transform the front of the yard another decision i've actually taken is to not put back grass in front of my yard because i honestly feel as if i am fighting with god's sun shining through and i'm fighting a losing battle in portmore so i'm giving up the ghost where that is concerned and doing a completely different front yard so in total i moved two truckloads of garbage from the house and considering that is a machine do it i think a pretty good job was done so this is literally the final thing a lot more work will have to go in i'll have to get somebody now to physically go through and shovel up and sweep up and stuff but so far i am pleased with you know what has been moved from the the house i'm certain i may have to do a little bit more throwing away of stuff but for the most part most of the debris is gone so if you stay if you watch the video this long thank you thank you thank you peeps more no watch the video you know watch them to the end because May I try hit a goal on YouTube and if you don't watch the video, you don't know say Mananga hit my goal if you don't watch our live. So if you see this long, look at this update. We are gonna final look when you can see more painting go on, the moldings, etc. So just stick it in and if you don't subscribe yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like the video so you can spread more. And I thank you for tuning in.
and let me know in the comment section what was your favorite thing about this update and if you have any questions drop them in the comments